Also ich glaube, es gibt schon sehr einfühlsame Hunde. Also ich habe schon ein, zwei in meinem Leben gehabt, wo ich mir gedacht habe, also wie mit einem Menschen sprechen. Zum Beispiel manchmal schimpfe ich mit meinem Hund, wenn er zum Beispiel nicht kooperativ ist beim Pfotenwaschen und er ist dann nie verunsichert oder beleidigt, weil er eben weiß, dass ich es nicht böse meine. So either the experimenter would sometimes clumsily drop the food or the experimenter would just offer the food but then in a teasing manner pull the food back before the dog could take it. So again, same outcome, no food, very similar actions but clearly different intentions. they would be more impatient with the experimenter. They would walk back to the owner sooner when the experimenter was unwilling rather than unable to give them food. And they would, in general, um, look away more often. They would sit down more often. Sitting down would sort of bring their face away from the location where they would re receive the food. So again, it's, it's the response that they, um, suggesting that they don't expect to get even more food from the experimenter. And interestingly, the dogs would also wag their tail in a different manner um, when they were presented with a teasing or with a clumsy experimenter. Uh, indeed, the dogs would wag their tail more on the right side when they were presented with the clumsy experimenter. Uh, than with the teasing experimenter, suggesting that they saw the clumsy experimenter in a more, in a more positive light uh, than the teasing one. The snout, the head center, the base of the tail and the tip of the 3D coordinates of these key points you can see here the key points overlap. Uh, I was surprised to see that we could see this already in this tail wagging response, even though they just met this person a few minutes ago. See where the dogs um, would spend most of their time during the two conditions. I see here is a 3D representation of things. Yes. Thank you. And, um, and then we had this 
3D tracking data that gives us very, very detailed information about their behavioral reaction. So I think that's very exciting for, for many people, for many researchers, because um, it takes the human as, as an observer a bit out of the equation. It allows more objective behavioral measurements. And uh, this really holds great potential for the future.